curve to the left. As a right-handed player, that would be a hook, ball curving off to the left. The hook is caused by the club face arriving at the ball at impact where the face is looking to the left of the swing path. Today we're going to talk about the control of that with our grip. A neutral grip, we've described in other videos, and I'll do it again here, has us bringing the lead hand from the side, placing the shaft just about where the fingers join the palm, setting this pad on top of the club, thumb just off to the side of the shaft, line formed between thumb and index finger, pointing here, about at my right ear. The right hand, we set the lifeline of the right hand on top of the thumb of the left, setting the thumb just across the shaft again, and that line is pointing again just off here to my right ear. Now, if I start with that neutral grip and I arrive with the club face closed, the only way I'll know that it's closed is the ball curving to the left for me as a right-handed player. That would mean that that grip has returned the club looking something like this. Now, as you look at the grip, can you see that the thumb and index finger line is now pointed towards my chin. So if my hands are arriving there at impact, let's start with them there. So we set the club square, put the hands around to the left. It would also be beneficial to take this left thumb and let it extend down the shaft a little bit longer than the neutral grip had it. That ties the grip and the shaft a little bit more closely associated to each other and that would help to have the arms and the shaft arc back to the inside together, not independent of each other. So, ball curving to the left, move the grip around to the left. I'm sure that'll help that, that hook for you.